So first and foremost, we're gonna go in with a primer. So I have mentioned this primer before. It's from the brand Ren. It is their Perfect Canvas Primer. And this primer goes on like a serum. As you guys can see, it just comes in a clear dropper. So I'm just gonna take two drops. You don't wanna use more than that, otherwise it's going to not wear well. So just take this and apply all over your face. This is a pricier product, but the ingredients are really good and it's also like a skincare product. Okay, so now that that has soaked in for a second, we're gonna move on to this new product that I recently discovered. I don't think it's new, actually it's definitely not new, but it's new to me. I am completely obsessed with this. I have mentioned this on my Instagram before and in a video before, but I figured I should show it to you guys in action because I'm obsessed. So this product is from Tarte. It is their CC Under Eye Corrector. So here's what it looks like in the pan. This is the medium to tan shade, and it's just like this peachy little pot so it's not supposed to be a concealer i think it's meant to be layered underneath a concealer um when i apply it i find that i don't need to apply a concealer over top especially if i'm going for the super natural minimal look i feel like i just don't even need it so i recently picked up the light to medium shade as well just in case this gets a little bit too dark for me but i just wanted to show you guys um right next to each other so which shade you choose is going to depend on your skin tone obviously and then also how bright you like your under eyes to be. So I, right now, I'm kind of mixing these two together, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply because you guys probably just wanna see how it works. So I just take a little bit on my finger and I just go over my darkness. And it instantly just makes me feel so much better about life. Like when I'm wearing this, I'll probably be way nicer to you because I just feel happy about life. <laughs> okay, so I need to get a mirror because I am so blind that I can't see what the freak I'm doing right now. I believe this also has caffeine in there, which helps to like depuff. Also, if you have like any like dark spots, just because it is a corrector, it's gonna help just correct very lightly. So I have a little bit of darkness on my chin. I'm just taking a little bit of the lighter shade and like mixing it to get my perfect match. But as you can see, I instantly look healthier. I look more awake and you can stop right here, but we don't want the video to be over already, do we? Rhetorical question, we're gonna keep going. So first what I like to do is lightly set that with my favorite translucent powder. This one I've been raving about, it's from the brand Ilia and it's just like this really nice finely milled powder. So I'm quickly just going to set that really just lightly just in the under eye area. So next I'm gonna go in with powder and this is not a powder foundation. I believe this is supposed to be more like a finishing powder, something like that, but this is from Cover FX and this is their Perfect Pressed Powder. So this is the medium shade and I'm just gonna take this on a big old fluffy brush and I'm just gonna like lightly put this on my face. So this is not gonna add a ton of coverage. I'm just using it to kind of like even out any areas and have it just like kind of blend that uh, corrector with the rest of my face. So this is not gonna add like coverage. It's just gonna slightly tint the rest of my face. It just looks very skin-like, which I feel like is hard to find in a powder. So next to warm up the face, I'm going to add some bronzer and I'm just going to lightly sculpt my face. I'm going to be taking this palette from Benefit. This is their Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad palette. I've really been loving this. Um, the only thing I don't like is the blushes in this palette. They don't really show up on my skin. So I really like it um, just for the regular Hoola bronzer and the Hoola caramel. So you don't really like need this palette um, if you already have those, but I'm just gonna apply this just like in the perimeter of my face. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the regular Hoola and just lightly do a teensy bit of a nose contour. Cause I just like when my nose has a little bit of a contour to it. 
Then for my blush and also my highlight, I'm going to be using this Becca BFF palette. This is the Chloe and Malika, the silver one. So I've really been loving these two blushes and this highlighter. They're so beautiful and natural looking. So first I'm going to apply the blush. I'm just focusing this on the apples. I know that the colors look kind of scary in the pan, but they go on beautifully and um, you can definitely build them up. Also just gonna take a little bit and put it on my nose to give that healthy flush. Then I'm actually gonna take the bronzer in that palette just on a big fluffy brush and just kind of put it in my crease really quick. And very just like, kind of like messily, messily, sloppily, I don't even know what the word is, but you know, just lightly kind of just dragging it through my crease and then like to the temple also. Then I just like pinch the brush and uh, take it to the lower lash. Then I'm gonna go in with the highlighter and generously apply this like right here. So this is like so finely milled that it doesn't look like chunky or sparkly ever. And I really just like how when you put it through here, like when the sun hits, when you're outside, you look amazing. I don't even care who you are. You will look amazing. So I know it seems weird to kind of like put it right there, but it looks really, really pretty. Then just on the nose, the lip, a little bit on the inner corner. You can put a little on the lid if you're feeling a little spicy. Then I'm just taking a brow pencil and um, just doing the shape that I like, filling in a little bit of sparseness. Then I'm gonna take some of this brow gel from Alme, just brush them up a little bit. Then I'm gonna be adding a few coats of my favorite mascara. You guys always ask what my favorite one is. Currently it's the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I just am obsessed with it. Then for the lips on a daily basis, I usually just do lip liner and lip balm or lip liner and some kind of gloss. So for my lip liner, I'm taking this nude lip liner from Koki Cosmetics. And I never not do lip liner. Then today I'm going to be taking this Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in the shade Seychelles Breeze. Don't know if that's how you say it, but I'm just gonna take a little bit. Ooh, these smell so good, I always forget. And then just kind of dab it in. Then last but not least, I have to do my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to lock and load. I've also been doing a little bit of cocktailing with this new setting spray. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is really yummy. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. And I don't know if it really does a whole lot. It makes like you look a little bit dewier, but I just like to do like a little bit. So this is the final look. I've really been loving this just for every day or just, you know, like a casual outing. I've really been feeling it. So I don't know what it is, but recently I've just been gravitating towards less makeup. And I honestly feel like it wears better because you have like less on your face to, you know, like separate or settle into fine lines. So I don't know, it wears really well throughout the day with me. I've tried it without a primer as well. And honestly, it lasts really nicely. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this minimal makeup look. Minimal looking, not really minimal products. There's still quite a bit of products in here, but you know, the end result is very natural. Oh, natural. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.
how bright. <laughs> what was that? What's Che? Chade, dude, speak your life. How bright you like your. <laughs> Every time I say bright, my lips are like. Goodbye. I'm just gonna buzz on out of here because I just I can't I can't deal with my own self. <laughs>